This team got top eight at the most recent Hartford Regional Championship, and it has a few Pokemon that we haven't seen a bit in Grimstone and a Rangru. Let's see how the team is going to perform. This team features a Rangru and Grim Snarl with multiple setup Pokemon. With Screens, Parting Shot, and Amoongus, you can significantly reduce the amount of damage that your opponent can do, allowing you to set up with Nasty Paw Golden Go, Sword Dance Iron Hands, and Weakness Policy Ting Lu. While Ting Lu doesn't have any weak hits on a team to activate Weakness Policy, it can be extremely hard to deal damage to it through Screens without going for super effective attacks. You can lead Grimmsnarl for screens, Amoongus for redirection, or Rangru to set up Trick Room next to a setup attacker. If you would like to check out the details of the team and the creator, they will be linked in the description. Fluttermane, Chi, Yu, Amoongus, Xian Pao, Dryonite, and King Gambit. Very scary. Triple Dark right here. Which is kind of annoying because Grimmsnarl would be really nice to have screens. But I guess with Dragonite, I don't think it... I think it'd be Terra Flying on this team. But if it's Terra Normal, that would actually be like pretty bad. I think Ting Lu is really good in this game though. I think Orangru plus Ting Lu are very solid. Golden Go probably... I mean, I definitely bring Iron Hands, that's for sure. I think it's Orangru Ting Lu here. Because I like the idea of getting Trick Room up against this team. I have the Amoongus in the back, I'm pretty sure. Like, the thing about Golden Go is, like, it's really good against Shape Power Dragonite, but it's, like, really bad into, like, the Fluttermane combined with Chiyu, and then there is the uh, King Gambit. The Double Sucker Punch priority is actually, like, really tough for me to break through without Terra, and I have no idea, like, if I'm going to Terra the Ting Lu, which I think is, like, decently likely here, actually, in this case. And then in the back, I think Iron Hands. I also want the Amoongus for Pollen Puff, uh, which is going to be pretty important, and... Iron Hands does do a lot of work against my post team if I do get rid of the Amoongus and maybe like weaken the Fluttermane to put in range of Thunder Punch. So let's see how this is going to go. I think the main job here is for like Ting Lu to start like opening doors against my opponent's team. And with the Terra Water, it should be able to. I'm a little bit worried about who they target they the like Shea and Power Dragonite because it's going to be a mind game. They might double up the Orangru or they might double up the Ting Lu. Either one. Are we going to see the... Fluttermane and King Gambit lead. Okay. Which is like a pretty ideal lead for me. I actually think Protect Earthquake is pretty ideal here. Or I could go for a Terra Grass immediately and just Earthquake myself. And it's because I have Telepathy, I'm alright. So, uh, they do have the special attack booster. That's alright. I think the only thing I'm really worried about is if the King Gambit has Low Kick on this team. Because Low Kick plus Moonblast would be actually pretty threatening. Hmm... I think Protect EQ is pretty safe for the most part. I don't think they want Trick Room to go up, so I, it's like, I think, pretty decently likely chance that they go for the double up in the Rangu. There might be a chance that the King Gambit is Terra Flying and it goes for it immediately, but that means I don't have to worry about the Terra on Dragonite, which is pretty huge. And also, that means, I mean, the King Gambit's still going to be, like, threatened by my Iron Hands no matter what, unless... Or, I guess, Ting Lu, because if it's Terra Fire, Ting Lu is going to hit it with the Earthquake. If it's Dark or Flying, which are the more common ones, then the Iron Hands is also going to be able to threaten it. So, we're going to see a Terra immediately from my opponent, which is not too surprising. I want to stay in this weakened form of my Ting Lu, because I want to... Oh, Water is interesting. I mean, Iron Hands still kind of, like, handles it, so that's all right. But I like the idea of being still super... Hit super effectively, so I can activate Weakness Policy. They go for Protect with Flutter Main, which is interesting. Okay. So we will protect the Orangru. Is this just an Iron Head to get chip damage in the Ting Lu here? Oh, <laughs> that's also another option. Okay, uh, they go for a Terra Blast, Terra Water, and a Ting Lu. I am going to be able to handle that pretty comfortably, and I am going to be able to get the policy up with my Ting Lu. Okay, and not what I've expected, but still works out. And we go for the Earthquake here, and we're going to get some pretty decent chip damage into the uh, King Gambit. So this should do, I'd say, 50%. It's plus two, uh, but King Gambit does have really good physical defense. Let's find out. Yeah, about that range. Okay, perfect. I'm going to go for a Trick Room here and Terra with my Orangru. Since it's pretty safe, and I could go for Protect with my Ting Lu. I think overall that this is super safe for the most part. And get that trick him up very safely and Ting Lu will still be able to resist the sucker punch I will be able to get trick him up very safely and then maybe bring up my Amoongus and start going for like pollen puffs so we'll see Orangu gonna Terra Terra poison we will go for the protect here let's see 
I could also just spam Earthquake plus the Pollen Puff. We are going to see a Moonblast come out into Rangrid. This could be a double bit in Rangrid to prevent the Trick Room from going up. Yep, it looks like that's the case. I'd rather not risk the Tinglu there, so that's completely all right here. As I aim out to get Trick Room up, and yeah, that Terra Poison is really going to be coming into play here. So nice. Uh, just to make sure that my Tinglu is slower than my Rangru, because yep, okay, perfect. I feel like Amoongus is always by play. I actually feel like you should probably be protecting your Fluttermane and most likely just bring in like... Uh, yeah, I'd say you probably protect your Fluttermane here. I'm going to go out into Amoongus and I'm actually going to click Throat Chop into the King Gambit because this is probably like... Uh, I imagine with Terra Blast on the King Gambit should be a Soul Vest and then the Fluttermane most likely doesn't want to take Earthquake and Struct Earthquake. You don't want to lose both Pokemon here. I figured you'd lose that way. So they have Amoongus in the back They're probably or Dragonite. They're probably going to try to use this opportunity to bring it in. So yeah, we are to see the Fluttermane go for the Protect here. Nice. And I'm able to get a Throat Chop. I did go for a Sucker Punch uh, for the Chip, which is perfect. And also, what another thing about this Amoongus is if they don't have their own Amoongus and they have, like, let's say they have Dragonite in the back, uh, this also helps out with that situation because if it is Dragonite and I am, like, let's say in the Choice Band Extreme Speed range, I could go for a Rage Powder. And because we're in Trick Room, the Speed Orders are reversed. So they're the same priority with Rage Powder and the Extreme Speed. Uh, normally, Extreme Speed would be going first, but in this case, because we're under Trick Room, Rage Powder is going to go first because Amoongus is the faster Mon in this Trick Room here. So I can go for Spore, and actually, I could just go for Rage Powder. But I want to scout for, I guess, Earthquake on the Dragon. So we will Spore the Fluttermane, and we will just Protect. Yeah. We are wasting a turn of Trick Room, but it's, like, completely fine. Uh, because we just want to see what the Dragonite locks itself into. Oh, they go for a double protect. All right. So is this Earthquake? If it's Earthquake, I'm just clicking Extreme Speed or Pollen Pop the following turn and just throw chopping the Fluttermane. Uh, let's see. It's going to be the Zombie Tantrum. Okay. I feel like if... I don't know. Like, no Extreme Speed? All right. I'm going to Pollen Puff. It's like Extreme Speed is even faster anyway, but maybe they are scared. I'm going to Pollen Puff the Ting Loon. I guess I'm going to throw chop the Fluttermane. I don't even know if E-Speed KOs. Oh, they do. But it doesn't. Yeah, okay. I wasn't sure, but, like, here's the thing. The only Extreme Speed I was really worried about was, like, Choice Banded Extreme Speed. And since they went for Salmi Tantrum, it was like, okay, then it's not Choice Banded. So, like... <laughs> they could not handle it. <laughs> I was... Yeah, the only thing I was worried about was Choice Banded Extreme Speed. If they went for Extreme Speed the last turn, I would have went for the Rage Powder. But because they went for Sami Tantrum, I'm like, okay, regular extreme speed should not knock out Tinglu at this range because Tinglu is just like so bulky. And yeah, it looks like <laughs> looks like I was right on the money. <laughs> oh, geez. Torkoal, Lilligant with Xian Pao, Dragonite, Chi Yu, and Fluttermane. This is a offensive team that is really terrifying for me to deal with, actually. Okay. Uh, the Terrifier Iron Hands is going to be really good here, like extremely solid. So that's probably going to be my terror in this game. Amoongus is not that great here. Golden Go can put in work, but I think I'd rather go with the Trick Room mode here. So I'm going to go with the Grimmsnarl, and I think I go with Tinglu immediately. Grimmsnarl Tinglu is actually like a really good lead here because it puts on a lot of... It basically slows down like anything special that they can do with like Torkoal, Lilligant, Fluttermane, and the Chiyu. And if they have the Champau Dragonite, I do have Reflect. So I think I have these four in, I have these four. A Rangaroo plus Iron Hand seems like a really good Trick Room mode in the back if I'm able to weaken the Torkoal a bit and, you know, set up that Trick Room. I do think that Terra Fire on the Iron Hands is most likely going to be my best Terra unless I see a situation where I have to Terra the Rangaroo, which is also completely fine because if I get Trick Room up against a weakened team, I should be all right. Although I guess like the Terra doesn't really help me with the Rangaroo unless it's a specifically against Flutter main. Or Chiyu, I guess. Like, Fluttermane and Chiyu are probably going to be the big ones. Let's see what they decide to lead here, because... Uh, Fluttermane is going to be pretty scary to deal with. I think the Tinglu, though, puts me in a really safe spot against most of it. But I'm uh, still worried about, like, how much damage I'm taking immediately. We're going to see the lead of the Torkoal Lilligan. So this actually works out pretty well for me. I am going to be able to lead the Grimstar plus the Tinglu. And... I think I want it. So I have a few plays. I could go for Spear Break immediately, or I could go for a Light Screen, which both aren't too bad. I think I'd rather go for a Spear Break into the Torkoal. Uh, the main reason is because they might 
I think the two plays you go for, like Sleep Powder to Grim Snarl and to go for a, a something like Protect with Torkoal, or you just fire off attacks and granted, like Sleep Powder is probably going up regardless. So I'm just going to Spirit Break and Rock Slide. They actually hard switch to Torkoal, which I'm a little bit surprised about, but let's see what's coming in. Gonna be the Dragonite coming in. All right, so who did you Sleep Powder? They Sleep Powdered and missed. And they targeted Tinglu. So this Rock Slide and a Spirit Break is really good for me because I'm able to get a lot of damage to the Dragonite. Wow, that actually did a lot less than I thought. That Dragonite bulky. <laughs> no wages policy, thankfully. We will be able to get the Rock Slide off. And yeah, that's a pretty significant amount of damage. I will happily take that, so... Yeah, that ended up working out really well. I didn't have to get a light screen up, and now I can either get a light screen up this turn, or I have a few other options as well. I do like the idea of potentially just going for a Spirit Break into their Dragonite once again. Or maybe Reflect. Uh, I'm trying to figure out who the last Pokemon is. That's my concern. I don't know who the last Pokemon is. Spirit Break, Reflect, Light Screen, they're all pretty good options. I think I'm going to try to get a Reflect up. And maybe just go out into Iron Hands on the Sleep Powder. I think is really solid here. Yeah, I do think that this is pretty solid. I don't really see a way they can really punish this. We get Reflect up. They're not going to Terra. I would like to keep Tinglu healthy because it's good against whatever they ha could have in the back. They Sleep Powder into the Tinglu slot. Nice. And they go for a Ice Spinner into the Tinglu as well. Okay, perfect. So Iron Hands is able to absorb that. We can go for a... We have a few plays that we can go for parting shot if we want to. I don't think I really need the parting shot. I think I'm just going to get my light screen up here. Because if it is like she and pound the back, I think like I'm pretty set. And I'm just going to sword stance or drain punch. Hmm. I don't think I knock out Lilligan, so I think I'm going to sword stance. They go for extreme speed to get chip damage into iron hands. Completely cool. I'm able to get my light screen up. And yeah, this is going to be really tricky for them. They do go for the Sleep Powder, and I will be taking my first turn. But at this point, like, the Iron Hands is kind of set up right here. Like, they really cannot do much damage. Also, the Dragonite is not choice, so that's also good information to note. We will get an, a Sword Stance up, and now we pretty much always threaten the right slot with Rain Punch. Although, I am worried if they do randomly go in a Flutter Main. Although, I could just Terrify the Iron Hands, so I don't think it's, like, that big of a deal. Gonna attempt a Parting Shot and Drain Punch the Lilligan. Let's see if they make a hard read into the Flutter Main or not. We're gonna see a Terrado come out from my opponent. So this could be Terra from either Lilligan or the Dragonite here. It's gonna be the Dragonite, which is a lot easier to handle. Gonna be that Terra flying. Perfect. So they're trying to brute force probably the Iron Hands with maybe Leaf Storm plus a Terra Blast, which I, they do need a crit, I think. I don't know if, uh, depending on what crit you need here for the Iron Hands, but we'll see. Uh, Leaf Storm. I actually did a significant more damage than I expected in the Iron Hands. A Terra Blast. I feel like with the Reflect, we should be able to hang on barely, but maybe I am off here. Okay, nice. Yeah, we are able to survive. Perfect. We are able to get a Drain Punch off into the Lilligan. So the Lilligan goes down. We're able to get some recovery here. Uh, maybe I should have Terra Fire to Iron Hands, but I still think that it's like pretty tempting to Terra Water to Ting Lu if it's like the, uh, the Chi and Pao in the back or again, the Chi Yu. So let's see who's going to be brought out. It's going to be the uh, Chi and Pao is going to be revealed here. Okay. I feel like I'm pretty safe in this position for the most part. I like the idea. I have to reflect up. A good parting shot. Doesn't really change that much. I'm just going to go for a spirit break, I think. And just drain punch the Xi'an Pao as well. Yeah, I want to break a Sash. I don't think they're protecting either. They're going to go on the offense. And I think they're doubling up my Grimstone reading it detect. Or they might just target the Iron Hands for safety. But we'll see. Okay, they did target my Iron Hands for safety, which is cool. Okay. The Iron Hands goes down. But a Rangaroo comes in and I get Trick Him Up and I feel like I'm in a pretty safe spot. Let's see if I wake up. Nope. Okay. I think a Rangaroo can safely get... Oh, wait. No, there's a, there is a Torkoal in the back. So I don't think I want Trick Him Up actually. No, I'd rather just go into Tinglu and Terra Water now. Yeah. Terra Water, Tinglu should be all right for this uh, matchup. And yeah, there really isn't much that I can do here. So we're going to go for a Spirit Break into the Shian Pao. And we're going to go for a Rock Slide. And yeah, we're in a very good spot. If we hit the rock slides, we break a Sash on the Sheen Pow. And because they have the Sword of Ruin, the Dragonite is going to... I should always 100% go down the rock slide, I imagine. We are going to be tearing our Tinglu for a nice Spinner plus Terra Blast combination. 
let's see if Grimstone wakes up. Like, if Grimstone doesn't wake up, I guess it could get a little bit ugly because we're taking a pretty hefty amount of damage, I think, even to reflect from these attacks. Oh, they doubled Ice Spinner, actually. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, so, Tingle's Terra Water there. Perfect. Beautiful. We're able to, unfortunately, stay asleep with the Grimstone. So, uh, unlucky there, but... Rock Slide does connect with both, and that's basically what I needed. So we are able to get the Rock Slide off into both Pokemon, pick up the knockout into Dragonite, and should be pretty safe here. Am I guaranteed to wake up with Grimmsnarl, I think is the question. I think that's a pretty big, reasonable one here. We're going to see the Torkoal come in. Did I have Light Screen up? I feel like Hands took so much damage, but maybe that's just like Iron Hands' special defense without a Soul Vest. I did have Light Screen up, okay. And how does it show how many turns I've been taking sleep? No, that's showdown. Okay. I'm pretty sure that Grimstone is like guaranteed to wake up here. If I counted right, I got. It was against the. L oh, man. I I'm trying to remember to turn lights can count it. I mean, I feel like the best play is probably just to switch out in a Rangru. I don't remember if I actually took the three turns, but if I did, then it's just parting shot to Torkoal. But I guess Torkoal could theoretically protect, so it's just better to go for the Earthquake, switch to Rangru on the Telepathy. And just like get the huge damage because they still can't punish the they really can't punish the tingly regardless and yeah they realize that they're going to forfeit and we are able to seal that one up which is beautiful we had like really good defensive synergy the grimstone really putting in the work right there and even though we didn't get the trick room up mode up it definitely could have been a pretty threatening thing and i think i would have actually been fine saying with trick room and tingly was just able to break through the torque regardless Dog spun, Grim Snarl, Chi Yu, Iron Hands, the Gyarados, and Fluttermane. This is 100% a very scary matchup. Because I don't have a way to. Uh, Dog spun? How do I break through it with this team? I mean, I have a Golden Go, sure. But the thing is, I have to break through the Chi Yu first, and that's a tall order, actually. Uh, they also have Grim Snarl with screens. Uh, yeah, this is not going to be an easy one for sure. Double dark here makes it so tough, man. I guess I have to go Grimmsnarl here. I think I have to go Grimmsnarl. I think it's like... Man, I think it's like no support from a Rangru or a Moongus in this game. Because I don't think I can really say I can comfortably set it up. It's just... Oh, man. Lava Plume on that is going to be like really hard to break through. I think my play is probably the Iron Hands plus Grimmsnarl. Or the... Ting Lu is not bad either as a lead. I'm just worried about like Gyarados intimidating it. And then I like I have no pressure because at least with Iron Hands, I can sword stance, which I think might be better. I have Ting Lu in the back and have Golden Go. This is going to be like really scary, mainly because they have a lot of options. So Chi Yu Dox is already going to be like a really tough combo for me to break because like the body press is doing so much damage to my team. And my only switch in is Golden Go. But the thing is, Golden Go, of course, is weak to the Chi Yu. So I have to get rid of the Chi Yu immediately. And even then, I'm not safe because there's also the Flutter Main that I also have to deal with. Can't really bring a Moongus. Especially if it's like safety goggles on the Chi Yu. The Gyarados with Intimidate's like slowing down my attackers to like actually threaten to knock down the Chi Yu. So yeah, it's going to be a really tough one. A Grimstall Chi Yu is not like a surprising combination right here. As I do lead the Iron Hands plus the a Grim Snarl immediately. Okay. So I'm going to go for a light screen immediately with my Grim Snarl. And the question is, am I going for the Terra Fire immediately? Which I absolutely could. Or I could save the Terra on the Ting Lu. I think I'd rather not Terra immediately. And I think I'm just going to go for a Drain Punch into the Chi Yu. Yeah, I don't know if it's Terra Ghost. This could probably be Parting Shot into the Iron Hands and a Swish of Dox Bun. We're actually going to see the Terra immediately from the Chiyu, it looks like. So is this Terra Ghost? Yes, yeah, Terra Ghost. Okay, I would have preferred Sword Dancing, but this is still... But the thing is, I can Parting Shot the Chiyu at least. But Dox Bun's still going to be a problem overall. So we get a Light Screen up with the Grim Snarl. Looks like my Grim Snarl might be faster unless they went for... Okay, they went for Reflect. All right. Nasty Plot. No, Lava Plume themselves. Okay, thank goodness they didn't burn me turn one. <laughs> thank goodness they didn't burn me turn one. I'm going to set up my Reflect here, I'm pretty sure. Actually, yeah, I kind of want to Spirit Break. I'm going to Spirit Break them, and I'm going to go for a Sword Stance with my Iron Hands, because I need the momentum. I need to chip on the Chiyu, and I need to, like, threaten it with... I think Spirit Break into plus two Thunder Punch should knock out the Chiyu. And I'm going to use the Spear Break to get the damage. I, if they Spear Break with Grimstall, I'm hoping it's a double up into my hands to try to eliminate it. 
But yeah, again, this is a super tricky situation. Uh, they went for Reflect, which was interesting. I imagine Light Swing is coming out next. I'm actually surprised they went hard for the uh, the Lava Plume. I can't even tell if, like what the damage is here. Uh, we're going to see the Chi switch out, so that's completely fine by me. That works. Going to be the Iron Hands on their side. Okay. Which is actually really good for me because I went for Spirit Break into the Iron Hands plus a Source Hand. So I actually get like a pretty decent amount of damage into Iron Hands. But granted, I don't know if the Grim Snarl targeted my Grim Snarl with the Spirit Break. So I should be doing like Drew Reflect maybe like 25-30%. They went for Spirit Break into my Iron Hands. Yep, perfect. Beautiful. So it has to be Doxmon in the back, right? Spirit Break going to come out in Iron Hands. We get some good chip. Wow, that actually did a lot less than I was expecting. Okay. <laughs> that was a lot less than I was expecting. We get the Source Hands up though with the Iron Hands. And now we're in a pretty decent setup position. I really like this spot now. I think I want to go for a parting shot actually into the Iron Hands immediately. And I'm going to set up a Sword Sense again with the Iron Hands because uh, I do want to start setting up. They go for a Thunder Wave. I do dodge, which is nice. Perfect. Get a parting shot off into their Iron Hands to like lower the damage output that they can go for. Now, this is probably like a Golden Ghost setup angle. I can definitely go for a Golden Ghost setup because since they tear it with the Chi Yu, they don't resist make it rain. I could also go in a Ting Lu here, but I think Golden Go probably better let's see golden go sword stance again with the iron hands so now we have a plus four iron hands which is super threatening to their team they go for heavy slam nice nice okay beautiful so that's probably just assault vest on the iron hands all right beautiful 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 we can go for a make it rain and try to get we have a few plays we can go for make it rain or we could go back in a grim snarl or not grim snarl the the yeah we could go back in a grim snarl or we could go for make it rain here uh the reason why we would, could go out in grim snarl so we can parting shot out the uh, chi yu but really we're pressuring like every switch i think other than gyarados and if they have gyarados that means i don't have to worry about Doxmon. so this game gets so much easier to deal with I'm just going to go for Make It Rain Drain Punch, I think. I did go for Thunder Wave, which is cool. Uh, since they stayed in, it doesn't look like they have Volt Switch, which is perfect. So, and the Iron Hands is also minus one. We go, go for Make It Rain into the Grim Snarl, pick up that Knockout. So, they don't have Light Screen, which is actually, like, a pretty important factor. I wonder if they're just trying to get damage on Golden Go to, like, set up for the Dock Spun Sweep. Which maybe is the case. They go for a Drain Punch and Iron Hands, okay? So Iron Hands is weakened. I hope that we can get the recovery with the Drain Punch, which would be really nice here. As Okay, nice. Beautiful. That's a good amount of damage to the Iron Hands. I don't know if it's in Shadow Ball range, but that is still fantastic amounts of health right there. Okay. We've already used our Terra. They have... Chi Yu and Dock Spun, I'm assuming. Chi Yu's gonna come out. I'm thinking, if anything, you're probably just gonna go hard in your Dock Spun and probably just go for the Lava Plume. Like Dark. Uh, you could go for Dark Pulse Flinches, I suppose. I think Ting Lu is always my play here, and I'm just gonna go for a Thunder Punch into the Chi Yu because I need to get rid of Chi Yu so my Golden Go can sweep them. And we also reduce the damage of their. Uh, their Lava Plume onto my side or Dark Pulse, even with the Ting Lu's Vessel of Ruin. Okay. Yeah, they retreat the Iron Hands. I'm assuming that this is going to be your Dock Spun, which I'm... Gyarados! Oh, they didn't bring Dock Spun! That was like the Pokemon I was scared of. I guess they were like, okay, Golden Ghost is like way too pro problematic, but that makes my game a lot easier then. They protect. All right. Which is cool. Iron Hands gets paralyzed, which is perfectly fine here, actually. All right. So I actually want to go into Grim Snarl then, and I want to go for a detect with my Iron Hands because Waterfall. Uh, the problem is, can I get one more attack off of the Iron Hands? I feel like if I get one more attack, I can set up for a victory. Unless this is Nasty Plot Chi Yu, because Nasty Plot Chi Yu is actually kind of concerning. I want to get a Reflect up so my Iron Hands can take the Gyarados attack better. Oh, that's a bad double para right there well actually the first para didn't matter but ugh, look at that damage that i just took for no reason waterfall chaos or like that knockout more uh this could be scary this could be scary iron hands does go down here unfortunately okay 
But we do have a Ting Lu, thankfully. And Ting Lu can sweep too if they tart into the Ting Lu without suspecting it. I also have Drill Chop on this Ting Lu. So, yeah, we can at least threaten the Chi Yu. Reflect. I have Light Screen for two turns. Perfect. I'm going to go for a Reflect here with my side. And I'm going to go for the Drill Chop into the Chi Yu. Lava Plume Burn is scary and also Nasty Plots. I'm hoping that they actually attack my Ting Lu aggressively here. They might go for like Protect Taunt, but either way, it's okay. They are going to protect. They might be trying to build up the damage with Waterfall, which is cool because I can still Parting Shot out to the uh, Gyarados. And the Iron Hands is threatened by a plus two Throw Chop. Yeah, they do go for the Waterfall immediately. Get some decent damage off in the Ting Lu, but activates my policy. I just need to get rid of the Chi. If I get rid of the Chi, I just win. We go for the Throw Chop. Uh, Grimstall is faster than Ting Lu. I suppose I could go for a Spear Break and I could go for the Parting Shot again, but I don't think it really matters too much. I'm actually going to go for a Spear Break and a Chi Yu, and I'm going to go for a Throw Chop into the Chi Yu as well. I'm going to go for the Double Up here because if they go to Hands, I get the Knockout on the Hands. They actually go for Flame Door, which is perfect for me. Okay. And they go for Waterfall. They're going for a Flinch here, unfortunately. Okay. Please don't. Spear break to lower their special attack. Okay, please get this drill chop off. Okay, that's really the only attack I really needed here. Okay, so Chiyu goes down and I should be able to seal up the game from there. All right, excellent. So Chiyu is eliminated, which means Golden Go should have like a pretty safe time against this team. Unless Gyarados is faster than my Golden Go and just like starts going for waterfalls and like really lucky me here. So Iron Hands is going to come out. I reflect up. I don't think I go for any cr unnecessary crits. I'm just going to go for a spear break in the Iron Hands because it should be a Soul Vest with the uh, Heavy Slam. And then we're going to go for a Throw Chop as well in the Iron Hands because we should be able to secure the knockout that way. They go for the Waterfall into Grimstar. Oh, they're going for the Flinch into Grimstar. But Grimstar paying off, pulling through, getting the KO onto the Iron Hands. I guess technically, was that the right play? Maybe it was like switch out the Tinglu and the Golden Goal, I guess. Maybe. Maybe. But thankfully that worked out. I mean, Drain Punch Recovery actually would have been scary there. But, like, I still think as long as there's no, like, absurd crits or anything, I'm pretty sure that Golden Gold was able to win with na one Nasty Plot set up. And now we can go for a... Uh, I guess... I mean, I'm just going to go for a Spear Break. We get a lot of damage into Gyarados anyway, and we're just going to Throw Chop. We have a Golden Gold as well. They go for a Waterfall into the Tinglu, which will survive because we have Reflect Up. Be a break in the Gyarados because Grimstar does have some really good attack. It is a two shot, so yeah, they don't have any spread moves that actually like threaten me. I guess crit earthquakes, but even then, Gyarados is knocked out to the throw chop. It's seal of the victory. A Grimstar mirror. I, no dog sponges, I feel like made that so much easier because I was so worried. Because the thing is with the Chi Yu situation, it's like it hits the Golden Go, but I can't really afford to terror the Golden Go against the dog sponge because the dog sponge is just going to body press. Uh, it actually made it so much easier. Like we committed terrors like pretty early, but overall, I felt like I gained a lot more out of my tariff. This is a unique one. Fluttermane, Garchomp, Guard of War, Kilowattro, Talonflame, and Iron Bundle. Huh. <laughs> uh, definitely some unique stuff right here. I wonder if it's Choice Specs Kilowattro. I've seen that before. Uh, with the Tailwind. So, uh, that would actually be pretty terrifying. Pretty terrifying. I think I want to try a game plan here. They do seem really weak to Trick Room. I'm going to go with Grimstall or Rangru and see if I can set up here against them pretty safely. And I think Ting Lu does beat them. Like, Ting Lu does straight up beat them. Question is with what? Golden Go is pretty strong here, I guess. Iron Hands is not bad here. I kind of like the Golden Go. Especially if I'm able to get screens up. So, yeah, let's try it out. I don't think Amoongus is too helpful in this game. They have a lot of spread moves. I get Spore, sure, but... I gotta watch out for Talonflame. I gotta watch out for Kilowattro. <laughs> and I gotta watch out for like Iron Bundle, I suppose. Yeah, there's, they just have like a lot of offensive pressure. I guess the question is, what kind of Guard War are you? Are you in prison? Because I guess in prison, Guard War could be scary, but I don't think it's like that bad. We're gonna see the Garchomp plus the uh, Guard War here. Okay. Can I Encore in prison? I kind of want to see if that's gonna be the case here. I want to set up a Reflect if I can. 
But I want a parting shot because I could parting shot like the guard of war. I could parting shot the guard charm too, but I have no idea if this is clear amulet or not. That's my problem. I kind of want to make a safe play and just reflect here. Uh, unfortunately, like if I had the information on this, this is where like finding out if it's clear amulet would be really nice. But yeah, we'll reflect here and I think we're going to go for an encore into the guard of war. Because I feel like there's some kind of uh, imprison strategy here. We're going to see a Terra come out immediately from my opponent. Okay. I'm going to be the guard chomp into Terra round for the extra damage output. Okay. Which is not too surprising. All right. Reflect. I'm reading the imprison here. I feel like this team's too fast where I think it needs imprison, right? A telepathy with the guard of war is not too surprising. Here comes the earthquake. Okay. Oh, they trick room to reverse trick room. That's actually really funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's fine by me. That is fine by me. Also, that choice and guard shot. That did so much damage to reflect, but I'm going to parting shot out the guard chomp. I'm going to go for a protect with a Ranguru, I think, this turn. Yeah, I'm just going to protect the Ranguru and parting shot out the Garchomp. Because I feel like Ting Lu is like in a really safe position to just click Earthquake. I don't know if they're going to reverse trick him here. We'll see. Uh, yeah, it didn't look like clear amulet on the Garchomp. So I am able to get a good parting shot off. Nice. Okay. We're going to bring out our Ting Lu. I'm a little bit worried about how much Moonblast does, I suppose. But if it's Trick Room Gardevoir, I'm like not too scared at the moment. Let's bring out the Ting Lu here. Maybe I underestimated this combination. I really thought it was just going to be in prison turn one. Like, I thought like that. that's what they screamed here. It looks like they reversed Trick Room, I think, with the Gardevoir. So, unfortunate for me, but it's all right. Because I could have went for... I don't know. I, I don't think a Ranguru was really doing anything there, though. Yeah, Tingler is able to eat it up pretty well. We will see a Trick Room once again. I'm just going to go for a Trick Room, and I'm going to go for a Imp and Earthquake here. Because I am going to be able to get a lot of damage. And yeah, might as well just get that Trick Room up now. I'm hoping that they might target down the Ranguru. But they could reverse Trick Room again, and then it's like another mind game. So it's just, it's just like we're playing a mind game right here. Because I don't expect... Earthquake to knock out the Oranguru. Although, Moonblast would be close, but it depends on the day of Moonblast or Dazzling Gleam as well. Earthquake gonna come out into the Oranguru. Yeah, I do take it. Dazzling Gleam, I don't think should KO. What? Did it actually KO Oranguru? I think Luke barely survived too, which I'm actually kind of surprised about. I don't think that was a crit either. Wow. Okay, I must have overestimated Rangu heavily. I really need to knock on Garchomp then with the Earthquake. Oh, it's Life Orb. No wonder. I was like, I thought it was going to be Focus Sash if it was Trick Room. Oh, no. That's not good. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Life Orb Trick Room Gardevoir is like actually screwed. That, that was probably like... Uh, because I think it was just like Focus Sash Gardevoir. I think we were fine. We're going to see Fluttermane come in, which is cool. They're locked in the Earthquake, which is the weird part. Bone and Go going to come in. I suppose we're okay. Make a Rain definitely KOs both if I switch on the Grim Snarl. Are they going to protect the Fluttermane? I just don't know if they protect Fluttermane or not. I think my best play is still to swap out a Grim Snarl and go for a Make It Rain. It might be a bit risky, but I think this is what we go for. We're going to see the Garchomp Retreat. Yep, that's what I had a feeling of. We're going to see the Iron Bundle, I think. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't KO Iron Bundle with this um, Make It Rain here. Uh, it's going to be a tricky one. Let's see. We might still be able to win, but it really depends on the Garchomp, I suppose. We bring out the Grim Snarl. We're going to go for the Terra with our Golden Go. Because we don't want to take a Shadow Ball, especially if this is like Choice Specs or taking like too much damage right here. So I feel like if this is your play, you might be Shadow Balling, but you might also just Dazzle and Gleam. So you could have threatened the D a Ting Lu, because Ting Lu is threatening, it, threat, threatening here too. Yeah, Dazzle and Gleam. I would have actually preferred not to tear here, because I ended up taking so much more damage because it's Choice Specs Flutter Main. Okay, I was thinking it was Choice Specs Kilowattro, but yeah, make it rain gonna come out. That even knock out the flutter mate. Oh, go and go. Go and go. How much special attack does this have? 
I'm so used to that always KOing Flutter main, but I usually run like Metal Coat now. What is your investment? You have a lot too. Wait. Yeah, that's a lot. That Flutter main's really bulky. Oh, the game's over. Bad Terra. Bad Terra on my part. Where did it go wrong? I guess the Life Orb, Gardevoir with Choice Band and Choice Mix. Yeah. I got out offensed. And I guess I didn't really utilize my Oranger's Trick Room that much. Like, I thought I could Encore to catch the Imprison. Because I really felt like this team would run in prison. I didn't think they would just, like, hard just go for a Trick Room immediately. But, yeah, that ended up screwing me over a lot. Is there a way I can win this? No, they just click Freeze, Dry, Dazzle, and Gleam. It's over. Oh, man. Yeah. What else could I have done? I'm trying to think. Maybe I had to retreat the Orangu earlier. Maybe, like, not going for the Trick Room at all was probably the better option. Well, the thing is, like, it didn't even matter because, like, I only went for a Trick Room that... I could I guess I could have reversed Trick Room, but I would have to read the Gardevoir. So maybe what I should have done was, like, Trick Room with the Orangu that turn on the second turn. And go for parting shot, bring out my a Ting Lu, and then Earthquake Instruct, which probably was like the way I could have won this. Otherwise, it was just like, yeah, I wasn't too sure there. <laughs> All right, let's go over the games. Game one felt even if I didn't get the best plays in the early game, I was still in a great position as I was able to get the weakest policy with Ting Lu set up alongside Trick Room, which was hard for my opponent to handle. Game 2, Sleep Powder Miss early was fortunate. I was able to continue applying pressure with Ting Lu and Iron Hands behind the screens. Game 3, opponent got me with the early Ghost Terror on the Chiyu, but was able to get set up with the Iron Hands. It came down to a few flinches and paralysis possibilities with the Gyarados, which happens with Gyarados against a bulky team like this one, but thankfully it came through during the later half. Game 4, was expecting the guard war to have focus sash alongside in prison so my encore plan didn't work i would have to reform the how the early games had gone otherwise not tearing my golden go and nasty plotting could have given me an out if i kept grimstall around but most likely i had to apply more pressure in the beginning and find a way to get trick room up this team is pretty interesting you have like the bulky core with the ting lu with weakness policy it's really hard to damage ting lu especially behind screen so if your opponent wants to really like go for damage in ting lu they have to activate the weakness policy then you got like some pretty bulky setup mons behind screens and you have the redirection you have the instruct that makes it really hard to actually like to prevent them from getting the setups and they can also double threaten like with heavy damage with instruct but overall very fun team if you do want to try out there is a rental code on the screen you can go check out and the details of the team and the creator will be linked in the description down below and of course subscribe to the channel for more vgc content as always